We're up to our knees. <laughs> Woo! Hey there everybody, Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today we have a pack from Tactical Tailor. Tactical Tailor is a US company. They uh, special design a lot of packs as well as have their own. So if you're ever interested in making your own pack, they would be one of the companies you could kind of reach out to and see maybe what they could do for you. Um, and today we're looking at the Modular Operator Pack. This is kind of a three day assault pack style, definitely for military use is kind of the thought process, it, process uh, with this pack. Now, I know a lot of you like that style, so uh, today we're going to really get into this. Uh, I put about 15, 20 miles on this pack with about 30, 40 pounds in it multiple days to really get a good feel for this pack and whether or not it's going to be, you know, fit your needs and be really durable and hold up for the type of use that you're going to be putting it through. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start looking at the ins and outs of this modular operator pack and see if this is going to be a good backpack for you. All right, guys, let me give you some basic specs here on this pack. Now, this is made out of 1,000 denier nylon, USA made. So that's always awesome. Tactical Taylor's products are US made. Uh, you can also get what's called their Fight Light version, and you can see that on their website, which from what I can tell is the exact same pack, but it's 500 denier nylon. So it's going to be lighter weight if you are looking for this exact same style, but you don't necessarily like the weight. Um, and I don't remember the weight of this pack. I'll, I'll uh, connotate it in right now. Um, uh, empty, so I don't remember that one, but uh, this one is the thousand in year nylon model. Now this outside pocket right here is going to be 12 inches high, 11 inches from side to side, and then it's three inches deep. Then as we go to the side of the pack here, you're looking at the main compartment being six and a half inches wide. It's going to be 21 inches high. I like that height a lot. That's a big deal to me. And then it's going to be 12 inches wide from side to side. And the total volume in cubic inches is 2,268 cubic inches. So you definitely got that kind of three day assault pack size when you're looking at this pack. Okay, so I want to show you here not only the straps, but also the back panel on the pack. So this back panel is real nice, got lots of cushion there and very breathable for this style of pack. Uh, again, this is not necessarily a backpacker's pack that would have, you know, like a frame, a, an aluminum frame inside to kind of keep it off your body. This is, a, you know, three day assault pack style, military style pack. So for that style, this is very nice, breathable and comfortable. And then you're going to get real nice shoulder straps here, just kind of showing you what they have. They have, you know, uh, compression straps so that you can tighten these down. You can see how much the, the pack will kind of compress and push onto your shoulders and keep the weight up above your, you know, around your shoulders versus sagging down, which is really nice. And then you can see here just lots of different attachments. You have a uh, chest sternum strap right here, which is really nice. Then you have also a quick release. You can click. So if your pack was to get snagged, you could dump the pack real fast and leave it behind if you needed to. So I think that's a big plus. And the shoulder straps are very thick and wide and comfortable and have that same material that's on the back. So, uh, I, I mean, I've carried this, you know, with 40, 50 pounds a couple times, um, you know, testing this and, and going, I put about probably 20, 25 miles on this pack, um, hiking with it, you know, totally loaded out. And it's for this style pack, again, it's very comfortable. Now backpacker backpacks, you know, that are lighter and have frames and more suspension um, and things like that and compression will feel better and carry better, but uh, for this style of pack, again, this is gonna be really nice. And then you do have um, a belt strap as well that is removable if you wanted to remove that to kind of keep it you know, stable all there on you. So th those are the shoulder straps and back strap for, uh, or uh, back piece for this pack. All right, guys, so I wanna show you just kind of the pack on me as well as just walk through again the straps so you can kind of see it on my person. Now, again, I'm 6'2", weigh about 220, just so you can kind of get some good perspective. But here's the um, belly strap. Got a very good solid buckle. I like the two inch um, you know, strap right there, so it's gonna hold very well. And I got definitely some spare you know, um, line there and some, uh, some spare webbing. And uh, the chest as well, that sternum strap, totally adjustable. Again, plenty to spare. These guys got plenty of spare to, you know, get it really nice and tight on my body and just feels very good, comfortable. And I can grab these compression straps, you know, to pull it really nice and tight onto my person. So the bag, you know, is up against my body. And just to kind of give you a little perspective here, 
of it on me. It's gonna go basically right to my belt right there and fill up my entire back. And that's a big deal, particularly for me being a kind of a bigger guy. Uh, I don't like packs that are really short. Uh, I like how long this is on my person and how it fits and carries the weight really well for, again, an assault style pack. I'm very, very happy with the ride on my body as I'm hiking and you know using it. I really like the ride on it for this style of pack. Okay, so let's go ahead and look here at the bladder reservoir. You can see here that this is the hole for the bladder reservoir and it will go through on either side. So depending on right or left handed or you know right or left where you want the tube to go out, that's great. It has a zipper right here that you move and then it's got a really nice big large nylon tassel that is designed to hold your pack. Now, or excuse me, the bladder. Now the downside is there's really no way to attach bladders um, you know, to this. Uh, so I've had to do a night eyes um, S clip. That's what I've used here to attach to the bladder to keep it from sinking down. So um, you know that that's really my only critique is that it's, this is just a nylon loop and it's very difficult to attach anything. Um, so you're going to have to use some sort of carabiner or something to attach to your bladder. But uh, just kind of show you down in there, and this will definitely hold a three liter bladder, and it is uh, bright orange in there so that you can kind of see what you're doing when you're trying to get your bladder in or out. And it's very thick with a little piece of, um, it's, it's some sort of, you know, sewn plastic uh, in there that goes the full length of the pack to give it some, you know, rigidity and give it some rigidness uh, between you and the bladder. So you don't feel the bladder at all digging into you while you're hiking and, and you know, using the pack. Okay, so let's look at the main compartment here. We've got our compression straps on either side. I'm gonna remove those. You got your dual zippers. And I like how they zip kind of at this angle instead of just zipping one way and then it kind of fall, falls out. This keeps it so that you have lots of open, you know, capacity to get into what you need, but the pack isn't one to kind of like fall open. I like that, you know, thought. Tactical Taylor does a good job with that kind of thought process. So the first thing you'll notice is we got emergency orange inside. And I like that because it's very high visibility. That's very good. And you can see I got a huge amount of stuff in here. Just kind of remove stuff, got my lunch, got water, got my medical kit, got my camera kit, got uh, my shooting target, got my full medical kit, and then there we go, and sunglasses. So just to kind of show you in there, and then the, the bottom is orange as well. You can see that really good stitching along the bottom there. Now you can see the bladder is kind of, you know, taking up a little bit of the space, so that is something to think about. Really my only critique for this compartment, and I really like how big it is, I can get a lot of stuff in there, but there's zero organization in the compartment. Uh, I would have liked to see, even if it was just like a mesh little baggie right here, you know, we've seen these a lot on other um, packs where it's a pocket, you know, it's just mesh with the zipper, so you can throw, you know, your phone, your keys, that type of stuff in there. Just to kind of organize this main compartment would have been nice. So that's really my only critique and kind of complaint about this. This main compartment is just to see uh, right up here, uh, some sort of small, you know, zippered pocket would be great. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the attachments here on the pack. You got a nice three stages of Molly right here with Velcro. So you can attach a morale patch. That's about the size of my hand right there. Great for attaching smaller pouches and things like that. Then as we go down the pack a little bit down here on the main level, we got four stages of Molly that you can attach again, all sorts of stuff with a bungee cord over the front of it. I really like that a lot. I like to see bungee cord because I do a lot of stuff by, you know, just bunging my raincoat and things like that to the outside to get, it, you know, things I need to get really accessible real quick. Then on each side here, we got a stage of Molly so you can put water bottle holders, different types of attachments. On that side, you have the same on the other. And then finally, on the bottom here, you have three stages of Molly so you could do your tent, your bed roll, sleeping bag, things like that very easily. And that, that works really well. I've used that a lot. Um, to attach a different gear. So lots and lots of attachments for Molly, but not overdoing it. You know, it's not like Molly all the way up the side, and, you know, cause that just adds to weight. So I like the level of Molly that they've put on this pack. Okay, so I just want to show you the side compression straps here. You have one at the top, one at the bottom. This is great for lashing tripods or, you know, rifles. You could absolutely, you know, put rifles in through there, your uh, walking poles, trekking poles, all sorts of different stuff like that. And it is very important because it definitely does help. Um, you can just see there you got plenty of room though. And then you just kind of cinch that down. It go goes right in between that space right there for the molly. So they really thought that through as well. It's not covering a strip of molly. So I really like that a lot. And you can just really cinch that down real nice and snug. And then you got the same up here and that's gonna keep it really nice and tight up against your body and keep it from kind of sagging backwards. So very good suspension system and that's on both sides of the pack.
All right, let's go ahead and look at the two uh, external pockets that they give you here on this pack. The first one is this very outer. It's gonna be right on the opposite side of this molly of one big tassel there, very smooth run. And this is just a simple dump pouch. You can get lots of stuff in there. You can get a full size pistol in there, no problem, or lots and lots of other gear. So again, that's just a dump pouch though. And then you do have Velcro right here for you know, your name or something like that if you wanted to. Uh, and then here is a double run. And this one does have some organizational stuff in there. You can get lots and lots of gear. It does have this little tassel. So you put your keys through there if you needed to. Then it's got this kind of rear pouch with Velcro. You can get your hand down in there real deep. And then you have this final little platform with another little pocket. You can put your cell phone, wallet, and then you got some little stages down in here for pens and other little organizational pieces and still have enough room for all of your other gear deep down in there. So lots of organi organization in the two pockets right here that are on the exterior of the pack. Water is beating up very nicely on this pack, not wanting to soak through. Very nice. All right, everybody, now that you've seen this pack in action, seen what it can do and see what are the capabilities as well as the options that come on this pack, I gotta wrap this video up and kind of give you the likability, my recommendation for you on this pack. And I'm gonna give you a likability of four out of five. Uh, the real only reason that I'm not giving it a five out of five is my preference is I prefer backpacker style backpacks. Um, you know, that have kind of the suspension and the frame to keep it away from your back and uh, lightweight, you know, all those type of things. That's my preference. So I'm giving that rating based off of my preference. For a, uh, you know, three day assault pack style pack, out of the ones that I've reviewed, this so far has been the best. It's got the best quality, it's US made, so that's always gonna be a plus. I've used other Tactical Tailor products in the past and they've held up extremely well, very durable. And uh, just all the suspension, you know, as well as compression that they offer on this pack, I, I really like it a lot. And it's gonna offer you, um, you know, a, definitely a level of quality and um, options that a lot of other assault style packs won't offer you, particularly those sub $100 ones. Uh, I mean, you know, you're gonna pay for it, but it's US made and it's very good quality guys so four out of five on the likability hope this review has helped you out with your purchasing decisions as always please subscribe share comment like i'd love to hear your guys thoughts on this pack and other tactical tailored products and uh, check us out on facebook twitter all the relevant social media and as always remember stay equipped stay prepared we'll see you out there